Okay, I'm just going to pan around and give you a little view of what I did here. Okay, I got the edge of my backdrop all glued down now. And I used tacky glue and a bunch of these type of clamps and some long sticks and sticks. What I did was, I'm going to show you over here, because this is all done too by the way, this was the last section I did, is I glued it, make sure there was no glue left over, and then to glue it all down flat, what I did was go around with a series of these clamps every inch or so to uh, keep it tight until it was all dry. So I did all that and I didn't have enough glue to do it before. So I went out and got myself a full container of glue and I also did work on my foam. If you remember this was all blue before and this is all glued in now. I painted the middle section of the backdrop, but I want to put the trees up and it's going to be evergreens and then it's going to switch into blue spruce. So I've got to kind of blend it some more after I put my spruce up there to see. And these aren't glued in there yet, but they're painted. And that's the next step I'm going to do is glue them in. Does that make it bigger? Anyway, just goofing around. Okay, I did a little bit of work around the station here. Can't really notice it too much, but I got a few figures. There you go. You can see my man here, and he's falling over. Okay. Okay, so there's another figure I got here. And few more figures here. Just come from Bearson Sweet Shop and he's riled up all over all the years. Well, people do change. Now this just what I did was the bunko squad and look at this one. Got a couple of these little guys here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I did was got a little piece of a background from a, just another station. I have my two uh, lights wired. I need to stain the back deck on here a little bit. Oh, the original station is not a deck, but I think there used to be just for station supplies back in the old days because it looks like there's a door and it was remodeled so you can't tell what it used to look like. I want to show you how this works. Once it fits in it slips right in the notch. Okay, that's it. And now I'm going to plug in my lights and then what I have is I have an adjustment switch on it right here. And then I hack this out of something. I've got a couple more of them. You turn that screw and it turns the lights up and down. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Turn off the lights. And I still do up above. See, but that's another reason why I wanted to turn the lights off and check it. Okay. I don't have a lot of light leaking there. So I did pretty good with that. Now I need my screwdriver so I can show you something. 
is the uh, adjustment. It goes one way or the other, but it doesn't turn them all the way off, so I can turn them way down. So they're just barely visible like that. And up for the front view. I'm going to show you. The front has a stronger bulb than the end. Let me give you a better idea of how I can dim it. And what I'm also going to have an on and off switch in here. Right now I don't. I just got to unplug the battery. I think like about right there is like old-fashioned lighting you know so this is all I have running it so far is just little switch and then a battery and it's gonna be a better job than that but I've been playing around with it right to the left of the house there's gonna be a couple of big trees because it's gonna it's gonna kind of box that house and so it doesn't look like there's uh, there's only a half a house there and that'll kind of frame that area off and then coming over to here where these tall trees are there's going to be a few changes to that area to the right and to the left you see where the tall trees they how high I went with the with the uh, trunks and then I try I figured well I'll make some tall trees there but it really stands out and I don't like it so that's one of the things I'm going to do tonight is, is cover that up and then blend that down so it goes down towards an angle right there okay I'm going to be working over in this corner here now and I bought myself new glue gun and this thing is a super high temp gun see that so I'm going to use my temperature control for this because I tried it before and this thing gets hot in like two seconds so with my low temp glue gun and they're made by the same company super nice hot gun so let's see you can stand them up like this this is just to catch any Glue the drips. Where that's gonna go. So I'm going to glue it. The marks here. So I know where to see how hot she is. Oh, nice. That's about the perfect temperature. I don't want to get it any hotter than that, though. So I'm not going up too close to the backdrop, but I'm just going to glue the foam in case I got to pull it up. Or the, there's wood underneath it here too. I don't want to glue to the wood. I just want to glue foam to foam. There, that's that section. I, I, there, that's better. Do the same thing. Now it's time to turn the screw the right time. Actually. Okay, that went pretty quick, so all I gotta do is touch that up a little bit 